Hello guys, welcome. In this video, I want to show you what we want to develop. How we want to uh, develop or integrate Zoom live streaming class to our Code Igniter project. Okay, guys, don't forget that we have a course on Udemy, Complete School Management System Part 1 and Part 2. I am going to use the school source codes as an example, but don't worry. If you already know Code Igniter, there is no problem. I am going to teach you in such a way that you will be able to integrate live streaming using Zoom API to any Code Igniter project. Now, guys, in our school system, okay, we are going to have live streaming class or hard live streaming class to the navigation menu so that the user could click on it so if i click on it again it takes me to this page in this page we are going to create something like this so in this page we have two information or two options the first thing is that we have a table that display the list of all the classes or the list of the meetings that we have created okay and the uh, second option is the form for creating the meeting okay so i have an instructions here i said add class you know for class a actually this does not mean you can add meeting for any class okay this is for texting purposes okay but we need two important things we need the meeting id and zoom meeting password if you ask me how do i get the zoom meeting id and zoom meeting password i am going to teach you that and that is the purpose of this course okay but we are going to have a form like this where we are going to supply the title of the meeting the zoom meeting id the zoom meeting password and the class now let me explain something here okay you can go to zoom website to create meeting and also start the meeting on their platform okay but one of the advantages of creating the meeting on your software is that especially school system you will be able to you know limit the meeting to the class selected in my own case i have selected class a section first time which means if i save this meeting it is going to show in the class that i have selected for example if i have class b class c class d but i have created this meeting for class a it means the student in that class would only have access to the meeting beautiful so we are also going to select date the meeting starting time and the meeting end time okay and the remarks okay give some instructions or description about the meeting you are creating so that the student could see and understand more about the meeting another beautiful thing that we are going to implement in this course is that we are going to work with send notification sms this is what i'm saying when a teacher or an administrator create meeting okay so we want to send an sms message to their parent or to the student telling them that a meeting has been created for the class selected and the time start the time end so that the student or the parent could know the time so you know the time the meeting is going to start okay in my own case i have created a meeting and i've called the meeting title introduction to biology i have meeting id class a section first time and this is the date okay i'm sorry about the noise okay so the meeting is going to start by this time and it's going to end by this time okay so this is the name of the 
the user that created the meeting administrator of course now the meeting has expired okay because we are also going to track the status so that the user will know that this meeting is starting or pending expired or live okay but don't worry that does not stop us from operating or starting the streaming so i am going to click on start streaming right now okay this is coming out beautiful so introduction to biology created by the administrator beautiful so i am the host okay because i am the teacher okay so this is the 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 class now okay this is the class platform so when students log in and their respective pages this is what they are going to see okay as a host or a teacher i can chat with the student that have joined the class okay from here for example i can easily say hey guys are you there okay beautiful are you there okay so those that have joined the class would see the message okay all right beautiful so let me close this i can equally you know share my screen for the users or participant to see i can i am the only participant that have joined this class okay so i can now click on the start video for the student or participant to see the class okay live class beautiful right we don't need to go to zoom platform to you know implement all this okay one of the beautiful things that we are also going to do is that when you click on leave meeting it takes you back to where you are coming from okay so you can join with audio start video you know manage participant share screen chat and a lot more okay this is what we are going to develop in this course so guys what are you waiting for i want you to click on buy now button as we learn how to integrate zoom live streaming api with our code igniter project thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye